Now that we calculated this part, then I want to open up this. So let's see that. RF, I'm just opening this part. Minus B, RF, and then RB is equal to, I keep RF here, and plus B, I put RM minus RF. So it's the same thing. It's exactly like here, just I have open up. Then instead of B here, I can calculate B from this formula. B is equal to this. So, and then I replace it here. So it means that RP is equal to RF plus sigma P over sigma M RM minus RF, right? Okay, gradually something is appearing. If I want to discuss about the trade-off between risk and return, so it means that I want to keep return on this side and I want to keep the risk on the other side. So that's why I can just rewrite this in this way. That Rp is equal to Rf plus Rm minus Rf divided by Rm and this whole thing multiplied by sigma p. So a very nice formula is appearing here. This is a, a nice formula. So what is it just saying? If I want to draw it here, I want to draw the risk and the return on portfolio. So this is the intercept. This is the slope. So it means that I'm talking about the function. The function written on the portfolio is my y-axis. Risk of the portfolio is my x-axis. This part, which is the written on risk-free asset, is my intercept. So it means that intercept is here. Do I have any risk here? Of course not. You can see it is on the y-axis. In the y-axis, the amount of the risk is zero. And then here is the risk of the portfolio. Sorry, is the slope of the portfolio. The slope of the portfolio that I can draw it like this is called price of a risk. So the slope of the portfolio is Rm minus Rf divided by Rm. So this is called price of risk. I have shown you the trade-off between risk and return. So this line is exactly equal to our budget line. So it is showing a relationship or limitation between risk and return, like our relation or limitation between y and x. So if I draw the utility curve, so it means that I'm done. I reach to my optimum point. So now I want to draw a utility curve. Utility curve between the risk and the return on the portfolio. So the only thing is that whether the utility curve has to have the positive slope or the negative slope. Can you think about it a few minutes?